All right. Hello. Hello. Oh, why does that look fuzzy? <clears throat> Guess it's just going to be fuzzy today. Focus. There we go. Yay. All right. I'm going to share this on Facebook real quick. Okay. All right. So Melissa, the insurance exam queen here, ready to help you out pass your insurance exam with ease and confidence. Let me know if you have any questions. You can put them in the chat box and I will help you out. And today I am likely to um, only stay on for about half an hour um, because I got to get packed, got to get the baby going. Um, lots of stuff happening in my life and I only have so much avail availability. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Maria. <laughs> um, for a second it was fuzzy and, and I was able to, to get it kicked in. So, <clears throat> um, hi Kinga. Hi. Yeah. So any questions you have about your entrance exam, let me know. Like I said, I can be here for about 30 minutes, um, helping you with, with your questions. So, um, Drop them in the, and there it got fuzzy again. <laughs> Drop them in the chat box and uh, I will help you out. And I always encourage everyone to go to um, insuranceexamqueen.com and then go to whatever exam you're taking, property, casualty, or life and health, and then click on recommendations, scroll down, click on your state, and I break down what's important for your state. Um, so for every single state out there, I just write down what is most important, what you should be studying, what you should be focusing on. And then, of course, the best, best, best way that I can help you pass your entrance exam is with my gold class series package. So it's basically a series of videos put in the order that makes the most sense for you to learn the material. And it comes with a 90% first time pass rate. So if you're wanting to pass the exam for the first time or the next time watching gold, the gold class series package is one of the best ways to do that. It teaches you all the information you need to know. It really replaces a lot of the reading that you have to do in your state approved courses. Um, and, and there are some states like in Texas where all you have to do is gold. You don't even need a state approved course and you'll be able to pass your exam. We have much we have a lot of evidence of that. And you can always check out the reviews for the gold class series package on insuranceexamqueen.com on Google Maps. If you were to just pull up Google Maps, type insurance exam queen, you will see over pretty sure 1800 five star reviews right now. Um, and so many people say, get gold, don't waste time, get your gold. It's the best. It's going to help you pass. Um, and again, that's available on insuranceexamqueen.com. It's $97. And that's insane because the value of what we give you is immense. Um, not only do you have the, the 30 plus hours of video that you can watch on repeat, that'll teach you the most common, most tested topics with a 90% first time pass rate. We have also now included a bonus of being able to attend up to three live classes a week for free, where you can interact with a real instructor who can help you out. And there are companies that charge thousands of dollars for that and what we are offering you. So it's super exciting that you can only get that for 97 on insuranceexamqueen.com. Okay. So looking at the comments, um, Tati Ali, I want my personal lines license in Massachusetts. Which book should I get? So when you say book, I, um, you can buy a book, but you usually buy like an online course, like Excel, Kaplan, 80 banker, et cetera. Um, in Massachusetts, I mean, I partner, so I, I don't, um, I'd have to double check Massachusetts. Let me, let me see if you're required to take a state approved course or not. Not every state requires that you take one. Um, I don't remember if Massachusetts says you have to. You do not. Okay. So in the state of Massachusetts, you are not required to take a pre-licensing course. So you can probably get away with just watching gold. Um, I don't remember the exact breakdown in Massachusetts, but there is always a state law section, which I don't explicitly cover for each individual state, but I give you a good general overall session. 
What I would recommend though, to get the state law stuff is if you purchase, um, so when you say book, again, I'm going to say uh, get an online course, which can come with a book, but um, I recommend Excel solutions. So Excel, like literally the word Excel without the E, they just do X C E L. Um, if you were to purchase their 199 package, which is the average price of a pre-licensing course, and you use coupon code queen at checkout. So you go to Excel solutions, coupon code queen, you'll get $9 off. So you'll pay 190 and you'll get my gold for free, which is $97. So a lot of people who haven't found, didn't find me first or didn't know about me first, they'll have to pay the 199 for Excel or a Kaplan, 80 bank or whoever they use, and then also pay the 97. So if you're able to use, if you haven't yet purchased a state approved course that has the state law component in it. Um, I highly recommend getting Excel, use coupon code queen at checkout, get $9 off and you'll get gold for free. We will, within 48 hours, we'll get you enrolled. So uh, we receive an email from Excel that tells us you enrolled with our coupon code. We are able to um, then enroll you into gold and then you get an email. If you want to expedite it, you can always try, you can email us first with your receipt to um, support at insuranceexamqueen.com. Okay. Uh, Crystal, and we're in the process of putting out a book ourselves. So we're getting some text out there for you. Um, we mo I mostly, as the entrance exam queen, focus on video. Um, <clears throat> Crystal, I just finished my gold package and take my life of health exam on 429. Yes, all the loves and vibes pass the exam and watch those videos still on repeat, even though you finished the gold. And I would highly recommend um, listening to the provisions video a few times because the provisions video is going to help you double dip, not only in the provisions chapter, but it will also help you in the Florida specific to health and life chapter state laws as well. Um, so provisions is, is a double dipper there. Maria, can a dwelling or homeowners have business in their property? If direct peril happens, what will insurance do? I have that question on the Florida exam. Um, you can run a business at your house, but it has to be a service based business, not a retail retail is like where you're selling something. So like if you're coming to my house and I'm selling cups and you buy cups from my house, that's not covered. But if you, um, come to my house and you need a service like, um, laptop repair or, um, something like tutoring or photography, uh, exam prep help. Like if you came to my house and we sat down and I provided you the service of tutoring, that is a business that is allowed at home. Generally, you're going to want to add an endorsement to let them know that you're doing a business. And it's called, um, my brain just left me. Uh, da, 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 what is it called? Um, no business. What is it called? I don't know. There's an, <laughs> it's not, I, I lost the name, my, my brain, brain farts with what I'm focused on today. Um, but there is an endorsement that you can add that lets them know you're running a business at home. And additionally, um, business property is covered usually to a, like usually to about $2,500 of business personal property at your house. Um, <clears throat> without having to add anything extra, you could add more though. Like if you have a lot of business property at your house, like behind me, the big old virtual whiteboard, we, you can add, you can add extra business um, coverage at your house. So it just depends on if you've added the end of permission, 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 it's permissible, permission, permissible, something endorse is the name of the endorser. Such as the P I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have all the endorsements memorized. I have the most, most common ones, but the big thing about running a business out of your house, service-based business. So it has to be service. You can't have more than two people working at any one time. And the business has to be incident per permitted incidental occupancies. That's what's called permitted incidental occupancies. That is the name of the endorsement that you add when you're running a business out of your home, permitted incidental occupancies. And, um, so again, uh, service-based business, not retail, no more than two people working at any one time. And um, it, the business has to be incidental to the house, meaning it is like a side thing. It's not the main purpose of the house. The main purpose of the house is that you live there. The business is incidental to it. Okay. Um, uh, Tanika, does Maryland require a course? I'm pretty sure it does. I think so. Uh, Maryland. You can go to a website called. Um, staterequirements.com and it shows you. We actually recommend that website from our um, 
if you go to insuranceexamqueen.com and you go to recommendations at the top, it'll, it'll refer you to staterequirements.com where you can check stuff out. But Maryland does require a state approved course. So um, you can get a state approved course. Like you can go get Excel, Excel solutions, use coupon code queen at checkout, get $9 off and you'll get gold for free. So you pay one price for two things. So that's awesome. Um, Adriana took my test on the 12th, scored a 68, retaking on the 23rd. Okay, celebrate. I want you to celebrate that you are only 2% away. Only 2%. You only need 2% more to be able to pass. That's really, really cool. You're just about passing. Um, if you don't already have any of my class series packages, um, I recommend one. With a 68, you can probably get away with $27 bronze. Um, but gold is, is of course the best. Um, you can also just read the notes on my website. So if you go to insuranceexamqueen.com and you go to resources, there are numerous notes that you could be reading. Additionally, you can play some Kahoot games for free. Um, on my website, there's a link to the Kahoot. You do have to register with the Kahoot website. You don't have to pay for anything, but you have to register. And then you're able to play my Kahoot games. And between those things that you should be able to get your 2% and pass the exam. One thing to make sure and be careful of Adriana is that you do not change too many answers. You got to trust that you almost pass. So you do know what you're doing um, and don't change too many, too many things. Um, Amy Dows just wanted you to know gold is where I it's at. I'm learning so much. And I was new to the insurance world. Go property in casualty, Florida. Much love. Perfect, Amy. I'm so excited that you got the gold and that you are feeling great about it. That's the thing is like as soon as you start listening, because like you get this, usually you already have like an online course like Excel, Kaplan, AD Banker, ExamFX, whatever. And you're reading it and you're like, oh my God, none of this makes sense. How am I, how am I supposed to possibly learn what I need to learn to be able to pass? And it feels extremely overwhelming and terrifying. And, um, once you start watching the gold videos, you just relax. Cause you're like, oh my God, this stuff makes sense. This is simple. This is actually easy to understand because the way I explain it, I make it so simple. I make it so easy. Um, and people immediately feel better when they start watching the gold videos and knowing that you've got all the major tested topics ready for you to watch at any time. And, um, so that's, that's amazing. Um, Ag Maria 18, that's a great price. I know there are some instructors who charge $500 for less than what we are offering you, which is crazy. We're under a hundred dollars. Um, uh, sorry. I took my PNC test about four times. The personal lines, two times with only a few points away to pass. I stopped studying because I felt it was overwhelmed and I didn't want to give up. I also came across your video last year, which happened to have a lot, but I'm ready to purchase a package. I've done exam FX also. Okay. So there are numerous people who have attempted to take the test, failed, left it alone, came back years later, whatever it may be. You need to trust that there's a reason and a purpose for that. That maybe the first opportunity that you were into it, like you, your life just wasn't in alignment for you to do that yet. So allow yourself like, okay, fresh start doing this. I'm excited. Make sure you get the gold class series package to help you out. In Florida, you do need a state approved course. So if you don't have an employer getting one for you, then get the Excel, use coupon code queen, get $9 off and get gold for free. Watch all of the gold videos first before doing Excel, and then you'll be able to breeze through Excel because you did all the videos um, and you can secure the pass. I believe in you. You've got this. I'm sending you all the loves, all the vibes to pass. Uh, the girl in Indiana, that girl in Indiana, Indiana is right, right next door to me, um, received Indiana PNC license today after passing the exam last week. Yes. Thanks to the queen help. Yes. Now on to life and health, bought gold and pushing through, but can you quickly explain replacing producer? Replacing producer is, um, when, I mean, it's not a common term that I've, that I've heard very much, but I guess Indiana covers it, but it would be if it, let's say I, you, you bought life insurance like years ago from somebody. And then I show up and I'm like, you should buy my life insurance instead. There are some valid reasons why you'd want to buy a different policy. The replacing producer is just the one who's going to, to replace the policy that you had. So you like, I don't want this one anymore. I want to get this one. Um, so the replacing producer would be the one who's signing you up for a new different policy. That's going to replace the old one. Couple of rules though, about replacing, and this is on the life side of things. This is not property and casualty side of things is one, you need to make sure that the replacing is in the best benefit to the customer. Don't just replace so that you can earn commission. You need to say like, this is a good solid reason for you to replace. You should do it. It's the best thing for you. If that's truly the case, if it's not the case, then you should not attempt to replace because if you replace, like, let's say when they got the policy, they were totally healthy. And then like five years later, they 
got diagnosed with cancer and then, you know, it's 10 years now later and you're trying to replace the policy. But if the new policy will decline coverage for cancer, then they're actually going to lose coverage if they switch over to you. So you want to make sure that they're not going to lose anything when they replace the policy. Usually also with replacing, you have to get a letter signed from them, recognizing that they are replacing, they understand what they're doing. And then the other big thing about replacing is that you um, do not cancel the old policy until the new one is officially issued. So like not quoting, like say, oh, we're going to quote a new policy. We'll cancel the old one. No, you have to officially have the new one in place before you cancel the old one. All right. Um, ABG, hello. Can you explain how coinsurance works? Yeah. Um, are you taking PNC or are you taking life and health? Because that changes the answer. Because there's two, there's coinsurance on the property and casualty side. And then there's coinsurance on the life and health side. And they're two different concepts. So I need to know which one. Um, Adriana, wow, thank you. Never change answers. Yeah, don't change your answers. <laughs> you, There are some answers you want, like, okay, like um, from one test to another test, it, some you should change. But don't forget that you did know 68%. So 68% of your answer shouldn't change, right? All right, PNC. Okay, so coinsurance. Okay, there are videos on the YouTube channel for coinsurance, and I'd recommend watching them. And then additionally, on insuranceexamqueen.com, under the resources, and then you go to property and casualty notes, there is a document with a graphic that breaks down the math equation for you and how to do it. But a basic understanding of coinsurance is um, the, the job of the insurance company is to, let's talk about a house, for instance. If the entire house burns down, their job is to rebuild it. You as a customer buying insurance for your homeowners need to have as much coverage on your homeowner's policy as it would take to rebuild the house. So if if my house that I'm sitting in right now, if it all burned down to the ground and I would need like $200,000 to rebuild it, then my insurance policy should be $200,000 because that's how much I would need to rebuild it, right? So if I go to the insurance company and say, you know what, I don't want to pay the premium on $200,000. I would much rather you just cover my house for a hundred, like a hundred thousand. I'm basically saying I only want them to cover half of my house. And the insurance companies are like, no, we don't like that. Because if, again, if, if you have a, like, let's say I, I only want a hundred thousand dollars. Um, to cover my house, which is 200. So let's say the house is 200,000 and I want only a hundred thousand dollar policy. And then I have a, a kitchen fire. So just the kitchen needs repaired and maybe it's only 50,000. Yeah, I have a hundred and I've got 50,000 damage to the kitchen. The insurance company is like, uh, 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 like we're not going to pay the full 50,000 to replace your kitchen. Yes, you have a hundred thousand dollars on your policy, but that's only half the value of your house. You are only covering half your house, but you want us to pay the full claim. Uh, uh, we're not going to do that. And so they use coinsurance. What coinsurance does is it says, okay, you should be carrying a certain amount of money. And usually it's at a minimum 80%. Insurance companies do recognize that tr that always carrying the full amount isn't necessarily the best or worth it because like it's pretty rare that the whole house will burn down. So they do say, okay, if your house is 200,000, at least carry 80% of the 200,000 and then we'll pay all claims like normal. But if you don't carry at least 80%, they do the co-insurance equation. Um, again, I'd highly just watch the YouTube video, um, read the notes and go through it a couple times, but they're basically, they, they check to see if you're carrying at least 80% on the house. And then, um, if you are carrying 80%, no math is needed. There's no pro, no co-insurance equation is needed. If you are carrying less than 80%, then they will do the co-insurance equation. They're basically saying, if you're not covering enough of the house, we will not cover enough of the claim. We will reduce what we pay for the claim if you are carrying low amounts of coverage on your homeowners. There are a lot of companies who won't even write you an insurance policy if you're not covering at least 80%. Like they just don't do it. They don't want to get into that fight with you when if you're carrying less than 80% and you file a claim and then they're like, well, we're not paying the full claim. And you're like, but you're supposed to pay my claim. And they're like, well, you're supposed to carry full coverage. Um, so they, some companies just won't even get into it. But if you watch the YouTube video on coinsurance, read the notes on the website. And then of course you could just get gold, which has the best coinsurance videos and an, even an extra math video in there. Um, that's going to help you out. All right, Adriana. Woohoo. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Wait, ABG, how long do they give you to take the test 
before you have to take the class again. It's going to depend on the state you're in. Some states don't require that you take a class. Some some states will say, like North Carolina says, if you pass, if you fail four times, you have to redo your state approved course. Some say you have up to a year to take it as many times as you want. So it really depends on your state. You're going to want to read the candidate bulletin from your testing center, and they should be able to to tell you. Uh, Nathavaya, Nathavaya, I'm saying them, I'm saying that wrong, but Smith, <laughs> can you go over defense against negligence? Um, defense is against negligence. So negligence is the failure to do what a what a normal prudent person would have done under same or similar circumstances. And there are some cases where you can say, well, I'm not actually negligent like I should be. Like for instance, um, if you go to a baseball game, you are willingly going into arena where you know people will be hitting baseballs at high speeds and the baseball could pop you in the head while you're sitting there. Um, and so you say, well, they're negligent. They were throwing balls around at people's, you know, uh, throwing balls. around. <laughs> I just have to laugh at myself. But um, the defense against negligence there is that you assumed the risk. You knew that you were walking into a stadium where balls could be flying by at your head. So you cannot sue the stadium for coming into it because you knew what you knew that you had potential danger. So that would be an, an, an example of defenses against negligence. Um, uh, Lethia, how much is gold? $97, which is crazy. Super, super cheap Com with the comparative value. It is worth thousands of dollars. Um, and you only have to pay 97 to get the gold. Now let's say you don't have 97 and you got, but you got 27. You can get bronze for 27, which is eight hours of video. You can watch the eight hours of video. And if you feel you need more, you can upgrade to silver, which is 57. You'd only pay a $30 difference. And then you watch silver and you feel like I still want more. You can pay the $40 difference and upgrade to gold. So, um, you can, you can also use that as a payment plan. If you can't just outright do the 97 gold, you can do 27 bronze, 57 silver, upgrade to the 97 gold, um, and never pay more than 97 for all of it. Um, Kayla, I have taken the test. Oh wait, Georgia, you're in, oh wait, wait I missed a BJ. I had this question on my PNC, which is a burglary and which is a robbery. What's some wording? I can't remember the to vet that question. Okay. Burglary, um, is damage. Burglary is not actually, um, Neither burglary or robbery actually include theft necessarily. You may have theft. You can attempt a robbery and not necessarily have theft. But anyway, burglary is breaking down. Burglary, breaking down. Burglary, breaking down. Burglary, breaking down. Burglary is the actual damage. Burglary would be busting the, the window to get inside, kicking down the door, busting the lock. Burglary is breaking. Burglary is breaking. Burglary is busting down the door, causing damage. Robbery is rob was there robbery is when you have made a threat to a person you you said i got this gun to your head give me your wallet or i will shoot you that's a robbery so burglary is actually causing property damage robbery is scaring a person threatening a person and that's the difference between the two um and then there's and then there's theft which is the actual act of stealing and you can have burglary without theft i could have broken down the door, heard the alarm come on and then run away and not actually steal anything. I could threaten to steal your wallet, but then I see some, like somebody comes along and is like, Oh my God. Hey. And then I run away. So like you can have burglary or robbery without actual theft, but usually the two of those lead lead to theft, but those are technically three separate things. Okay. Nevaeh, thanks. Okay. Put Kaylin Johnson. Uh, Kay. Yeah. Yeah. Cal Kaylin. I'm so bad at saying words names. I have taken the test four times and still haven't passed. Okay. Give yourself grace. Most people have to take the test many times before they pass. It is a hard exam. Okay. Um, taking the test again for Minnesota, any tips? Thank you. I had gold for the last test. Just keep listening to you. My memory is so bad since kids. I know, right? <laughs> There's something in the mom brain that just turns to mush once it's like, it's like some information just if this does not retain to my children, I do not need to keep this information. <laughs> um, I'm struggling that with David. He's like, you're not listening. I'm like, I'm listening. I'm just not retaining. 
<laughs> oh man, um, mom brain for real. Um, okay, I what do you know? What was your most recent score? And then tell me that um, Holden, are, as a testing strategy, would you recommend skipping the math questions or just answer and view later to conserve time? If you feel comfortable with the math question, I, I always say handle the question in front of you, take care of it, move on. There's going to be some questions that take you 30 seconds to answer. What is the definition of insurance? Transfer of risk. That took me five, five seconds. Then there's going to be other questions that might take you three minutes where I got to do the math. It generally is going to average out. Okay. So it's generally going to average out. You're generally going to be okay. Um, if math is not your strong suit and it absolutely terrifies you, you could click for review and save that till the end so that you're not stressing yourself out. Um, uh, but I think if you watch enough of my videos on coinsurance and pro rata, that you'll have a good enough baseline for being able to do the math problems. Um, and math won't necessarily make or break you. So at worst, just choose an answer, get, make a guess and, and move on. You can be strong enough in other areas that math won't take you out. And there have been some people who come back and they will say, I had no math questions. Like they may have prepared for the math and they didn't see any math. You, you not, you're never really sure if you're going to actually have a math question or not. Some tests I've taken, I've gotten math. Somehow, sometimes I've taken, I haven't. Um, so if math is not your strong suit, you don't love it. You've listened to my videos. It still doesn't make sense. Just be stronger in the other areas and you won't even need to worry about the math problems. All right. Um, Judith, good evening. Hello, Judith. Uh, Sheila, do you get unlimited viewing with gold? You get 100 days. So within that 100 days, you can listen to it as much as you want. Most people pass the exam within two weeks, especially when you've got gold. So you don't really need the 100 days, but I have it available for you just in case. Uh, first way crazy. Okay. I got a 69 on the third and 54 on the fourth. Okay. So, um, Kaylin, you probably scared yourself quite a bit and changed too many of your answers. Um, yeah. And double check if it is the right exam, because sometimes that, that can happen. Um, and you can have different questions too, but yeah, sometimes people like study for property and casualty and then they accidentally take the adjusters exam. And like in New York, there's an instructor exam and you might have accidentally scheduled for the wrong thing. Um, so it is important to double check uh, if you are taking the, the correct exam. But part of the problem is that you probably got so scared that you changed too many of your answers. Um, and you might have been like freaked out. Anxiety can be a big problem. I talked about this yesterday in the live. You want to focus on breathing, taking a deep breath, also watching my motivation video about to test video. And then one of the strategies you can try because the world is actually an energetic world, whether we think about that on a daily basis or not, but you can sit at the testing center, pull up your exam, and then in your mind, read every question to me and be like, Melissa, what's the answer to this? And then trust whatever answer comes in. Because I stuff works. <laughs> that stuff is real. When you, when you believe it, it, it works. Um, so if you believe it works, it works. Um, and I've had people come back and say, I did that and it worked. Thank you. I passed my exam. So, um, uh, pretend that I'm sitting right there with you and I'm giving you the answers for, you know, like Melissa, like send it out in the ethers, Melissa, like trust that you're, you're, we do, we do our thoughts do actually come out of our head. And what I mean by that is you can hook up a machine and that can monitor your brain waves. And when you have a thought, they honestly leave your head. So I want you to think about my thoughts are leaving my head, going to Melissa. Melissa's thoughts are coming to me and I'm getting the right answers. Like just trust in that. It, it works. <laughs> um, okay. I got, okay. So that's why I checked. Yes. Beautiful anomaly. I got the gold. I take my exam on Tuesday and I'm trying to get dwelling and homeowners down. I'm in South Carolina. Perfect. Just keep watching the videos. Trust that if you've watched them and listened to them, you'll have enough knowledge that you need them. Keep in mind, my job, my focus is not helping you score 100%. My focus is helping you score 70%, which is passing in most states. So if you, whether you fully connect all of the dots or not, if you've listened to what I've got to say on repeat, usually it's going to be more than enough for you to sit down and take the test and help you to secure, secure that pass. Kaylin, I'll be trying that this time. Good. Yeah, try it out. <laughs> Um, and also make sure you listen to my about to test motivation audio. So on the YouTube channel, we have a little audio that you can listen to right before you sit down to test. It helps to put your mind at ease. It helps you get excited and helps you to secure that pass. There are many people on the Google review page who have said, the reason I pass is because I listened to this audio right before I test. 
Uh, okay. ABJ uh, questions. I don't know that first word you typed there. Questions about fire and the size of a boat you can have without insuring. I think it's a small boat. Yes. So boats are 50, 25, 50 uh, tw uh, in, what do I say? I got a video for it, but there's a couple of numbers you want to remember. First of all, the boat cannot be bigger than 26 feet. So if they say you've got a sailboat that's 27 feet long, how much does your homeowners cover? None. Because the homeowners will only cover a boat up to 26 feet. And then I think it's in 50 out 25. So there's uh, uh, boats have inboard motors or outboard motors. And if it's in 50, then you're, then you can cut your homeowners will cover it. If it's bigger than, than 25 on the out, then you can't have, I, 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 I forget exactly, but what it is <laughs> in 50 out 25, I have to check it, but there is a video. I think there's a video on the YouTube channel. There's definitely a video in gold that goes over boats, but 26 feet tends to be the biggest one that I have seen. The homeowners will not cover it if it is bigger than 26 feet. Uh, Russell, I take my test tomorrow in Oklahoma. Oh, Russell, sending you all the loves, all the vibes to pass your exam. You've got this. Trust yourself. Um, ask me questions in your head while you're testing, and I'll get you the answers. Um, Sheila, does gold cover all lines of insurance? I have a gold property and casualty, which also works for personal lines. You'll just skip the commercial videos. And then I have a gold life and health. So you would need... If you need, if you're doing all lines, you need to, when you say all lines, do you mean you're doing the Florida all lines exam? Um, which is a kind of a different exam. Um, but yeah, I, we've got property and casualty, which is also includes personal lines and then life and health. Uh, KB, I have to, I have to get standard fire policy down. Most states do not ask about standard fire policy. So I don't exactly cover it, but in some states like North Carolina, it's, it's a little bit heavier. You do have to know that a little bit more. Um, beautiful anomaly. I feel like if you help me get a handle on dwelling in an hour, I actually have a trainer and a book and also access to testing through brewer. But do you have any, do you have any within gold that target specifically states? Um, if you can, I feel like if you can help me get a handle on dwelling in an hour, are you saying you watch the one hour dwelling video on YouTube? Cause we have that. So I have an hour long video teaching you dwelling. It's a funny video. I giggle at myself a few times, but <laughs> um, there's a video on the YouTube free that you can watch that explains dwelling policy. So you can watch that. Um, I do not have state specific videos. No, I have a state regulations class, which covers all the common stuff that every state has. So like every state has a department of insurance. Every state has a person who runs the department of insurance, commissioner, director, superintendent. Um, every state has rules about licensing. Every state has unfair trade practices like misrepresentation, rebating, coercion, twisting, et cetera. I cover all of that stuff, but I don't specifically cover your exact state laws. No, not at this time, which is why I am a supplement to your state approved course. I am not replacing a state approved course. However, in the state of Texas, I, I will gladly admit you can use just gold and pass in the state of Texas. Um, and any taking my test in Ohio soon, any tips or advice and go to insuranceexamqueen.com, go to property casualty or life or health, whichever test you're taking, you didn't tell me, and then click on recommendations, scroll down to Ohio, read what I have to tell you is important. And that everybody can do that. Whatever state you're in, go to insuranceexamqueen.com, go to recommendations, either under life or health or property casualty, and then read your state. All right. I am going to have to leave in a minute here. So I'm going to finish the questions I've got. And then um, I got to go because I got to get packed up. I'm heading to Arizona. And actually, we're trying to potentially arrange a meeting. If you guys want to meet me, I'll be in Arizona and I'm going to try and set something up so you guys can come meet me. Where I live right now is too small. Ain't nobody over here. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Florida, yep, watched it. It helped a lot. Perfect. I honestly feel like you are better than my straight state trainer. I am the GOAT, the greatest of all time. So yeah, of course I'm better than your state trainer. Um, Adriana, forgive me, Melissa. Didn't have something to write with. Can you tell me the app on your webpage where I can learn more? I forgot how to locate it. So everything's available on the website. Just go to insuranceexamqueen.com and you'll find all kinds of stuff there. There is a resource tab, which gives you a bunch of free stuff. There's a recommendations tab, which will tell you what's important for your state. 
Um, so just check it out at insuranceexamqueen.com. And then we also have like the Kahoot games. So like we have a link that you can go to Kahoot games um, and you can play those. <clears throat> All right. Have fun. I'm taking PNC. I bought the gold. Perfect. Watch gold on repeat. It's going to help you out so much, uh, especially for Ohio. I've, I've taken, I've, I've taught Ohio is one of the places I've taught the most. So um, what I, what I teach in gold is a lot of what we use in Ohio. Uh, perfect. They game, they give you 15 minutes to go over how to use a computer and they give you an eraser board to write things down. <laughs> yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. I love you all so much. I'm sending you all the loves and vibes to pass the exam. Watch the videos on the YouTube channel if you can't get the, the packages, but the packages, I mean, we got 27, 57, 97. You can always upgrade to each one. Um, many people have passed just on the YouTube video. So I, I try to be very accessible. I try to be free and cheap. Um, and the, what we give you in the $97 is so cheap compared to what other people charge for less than what we offer you in the $97 gold package. So it's going to save you time. It's going to save you money. It's going to save you stress. It's going to save you overwhelm. Like if you're spending hours reading a, a online course that makes no sense to you, you are wasting all of that time. You are, you are waste, you are giving yourself stress and overwhelm when you don't need it. So um, if you watch the gold videos, you can skip most of that reading. You can actually understand the material. You can actually feel better um, and you can get uh, a pass uh, using that. So, all right. I love you all. All the loves, all the vibes to pass the exam. You guys have an amazing day. Bye. And I'll be here next Tuesday. Usually I'm here every Tuesday and Wednesday at 5 p.m. if nothing else is, is going on. Been licensed agent for a month now. All credit due to the queen. Yay, Gabe. Thank you. Gabe Jones says trust her. Yes. There's a goat. I'm the goat. Greatest of all time teaching the exam. All right. I love you all. Have an amazing day. Bye.